Meanwhile, the University System of Georgia is hoping to return to face-to-face -face instruction for students in the fall. Our morning reporter Pemper Baker sat down with leaders at Middle Georgia State to learn what the school system has planned for next semester. We are opening for the fall semester. We, are, we will be welcoming students back. We will be practicing social distancing. Middle Georgia State's Vice President of Enrollment, Jennifer Stenander, helped put together a plan for the university to return to in-person instruction safely. In each classroom, um, we will um, either have seats that are empty or seats that have been removed, um, depending on how much storage we have. The University System of Georgia approved their reopening plans on Friday and will use it as an example for other state colleges. We'll also be providing um, you know, hand sanitizer, of course, as well as students will have the option to um, use the um, cleaning, safe cleaning products in the, in the room. And if they want to clean their space before they come in, they can do that. MGSU also waived their application and orientation fees and the SAT and ACT scores to help prospective students with the admission process during COVID-19. It has not impacted enrollment. In fact, we have the largest summer enrollment we've had in the history of the institution. So we are up 14% in enrollment for summer. Stenander says 4,080 students are enrolled this summer, up 500 students from last year, and she expects those numbers to stay on track this fall. We're just so excited to welcome our students back. We miss them and we can't wait to see them. A middle Georgia state always offered online classes, but students will have an option to continue online if they don't want to return to in-person instruction. They can also do a mix of both online and in-person classes. Stanander says they'll also have signs posted all around the campus to remind people to wear masks and to follow social distancing guidelines.